relaxing in the sun. A common enough image, perhaps. But for these special cats, the rest is well earned. For they have been on a journey of epic proportions. A journey that started from as far away as Harrods in London and saw them travel halfway round the world to Hong Kong until they were finally able to replace the concrete jungles for the tranquility of their spiritual home of Burma. It all started around 2004 when I started making visits to Myanmar and I was quite interested in seeing whether there is any worthy projects along China's frontier with Myanmar. I was also very taken by the scenery of some of the minority areas, in particular the Shan State. And there's a very pristine lake called Inde Lake. We have a friend who runs a resort there. And in conversation, I ask, do you have any Burmese cats? Because I know them, they used to be temple cats and cats of royal family. And that's when we found out that actually all the cats are already mixed breed and there's no uh, traces of the famous breed from Burma, the Burmese cats. When I was young, Burma had been famous uh, with the Burmese cats. But then uh, it is an extinct uh, species in Burma. When I got home, I started checking online about the history of the Burmese cat. And I found out that you know, the last known Burmese cat to be taken out of Burma was in 1930. The Burmese cat was on the verge of extinction as a pedigree due to the development of Burma and increased migration of its population, causing interbreeding between the Burmese cat and lesser breeds. So the rare Burmese cat was greatly sought after by the very particular and protective breeders in the West. Burmese cats come in a number of colours, but the most authentic Burmese is the sable, with rich brown colouring darkening around the points, particularly the face. The cats are treasured for their coziness and affection, taking great pleasure from human company. Burmese cat got its name from Burma, but no longer available as a true breed in, in, in its own home country. Uh, and we felt that it is important to source for thoroughbred Burmese cat outside of the country and bring them back like a reintroduction program. So I said, okay, that's a good idea. Can I help you in, in any way? And he said, okay, yes, uh, you can. We might bring in you some uh, real Burmese cats and then uh, you can or uh, what you call a uh, breed them up here. So I say, okay, please uh, let me be involved in your project. So on a trip to the UK, Howman embarked on his mission to acquire the first pair of cats to start the program. But he immediately encountered problems. And no one really wants to meet with us. It seems like it's an extremely close circle of breeders that don't want their breeding program to go outside of their own area. In desperation, Howman asked his hotel concierge for any nearby pet shops, to which he was told the closest one was just a block away, in Harrods. Right away, I rushed to the pet shop and asked the lady in charge, is there any Burmese cats around? And she said, you know, in three years that she has worked there, she has not seen any Burmese cat coming in. And just at that moment, she said, well, let me go check what kind of cats we are expecting. And right there, it shows, in May, they're expecting one litter of Burmese cats. And they're all brown, and that's the most original color. It seemed the fates were on Howman's side, and in July 2007, CERS received their first batch of Burmese cats. Around the same time, Howman also visited Australia, where he was fortunate to find a cooperative breeder who was happy to support this initiative. And two more cats from Sydney joined the family in Hong Kong. And soon the cats got to the task at hand, breeding. Now that we are overloaded with cats, both from the UK, Australia, and two litters and a third litters on this way, 
And I think this place is going to be overrun with cats if we don't quickly start sending them back to Myanmar. Soon enough, the cats would embark on a journey that would see them swapping their Hong Kong waterside homes for waterside homes of a very different nature. The cats' expedition home first took them to Bangkok, where they were to stay overnight at the luxurious Banyan Tree Hotel. Although it was only a short flight, Haoman and team were still anxious. Such a journey can be very traumatic for young cats. The cats were taken into their own spacious room for some much-needed pampering. Only the best five-star treatment for these most special Burmese cats. For the hardest part of their journey was yet to come. The following morning, the cats set off on the final leg of their journey. Once the paperwork had been completed, they were on their way. Before long, Myanmar could be glimpsed through the clouds. And on landing at Yangon, all that lay between the cats and their final destination was a quick internal flight to Hiho Airport. It was hoped that the cats' fellow travelers would bring them luck on their journey home. But instead, Hao Man was faced with a problem that spelt disaster, putting the very lives of the cats on the line. They said they want to drug them. I said I came all this way. These cats came from London without medicine, to Hong Kong without medicine, and to Hong Kong to Bangkok, Bangkok to Rangoon without medicine. Now this last stop, they want to give them some drugs. Worse still, they had no one qualified to administer the sedative. They didn't know what drug to administer, nor did they know how much tranquilizer to give. Suddenly, the whole project was in jeopardy, so swift negotiation with the captain was required to avoid disaster. So now no drugs, you okay? They can't be drugged. With disaster averted, the cats were on their way again. Just a small hop took them to Hiho Airport, where they were swiftly transferred to four-wheeled transport and a drive through the Myanmar countryside. In no time at all, they had reached the much-needed tranquility of their final destination. Hi. 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 Finally. Yes. Hi. Two full days. Yes. Oh, nice to be but before the cats could be set free in their new idyllic home, they had one last short trip to make. This time, it would be by boat. To maintain the purity of the breed, the owners of the Inla Princess Resort had constructed two purpose-built houses on stilts. <laughs> there, there they are. Burmese cat house of Inlay Lake. Though they were a little shaky from their journey, the cats soon started to settle into their new homes and were treated to a welcome meal of rice and fresh fish from the lake prepared by the Inla Princess's dedicated staff. Finally, the Burmese cats had returned home. Well, finally I'm more relaxed and uh, it's been quite an odyssey, given that it starts with a simple idea, but quite ambitious and a lot of hard work for a number of people too. Not only they have a new home, you know, these are very specially built houses for them. They have their own veranda and floating gardens. And I can see they feel very much at home. And our partners here really care a lot about them. They're very excited about the future of these cats. I just can't find a better home for them. For me, I take it as a very serious responsibility. I have a lot of cat lovers in our staff, so they, they really want to take care of them 24 hours a day. It's not a problem. This is one species that we have to preserve. It's come from Burma, so we have to take that responsibility to keep these breed here. And also, I hope that we will have more tourists in coming years and uh, they can see it as a part of their sightseeing and discovery when they are coming to Burma. But uh, you can rest assured that they will be very well looked after and and uh, take care of it. Huh? Yes. Take care of them. I think if we 
are successful in our plan that you start repopulating the country, mm -hmm. it will be a very important milestone mm -hmm. for both the Burmese cat and for the country and the different states in Myanmar. A modest but meaningful start to what CERS expects will be a significant program to bring a treasured cat back to its rightful home. A country rich in culture and natural beauty. A fitting home for the very royal Burmese cat.